Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving deep into the world of Android hacking techniques and we're focusing specifically on what you need to know for bug bounty hunting. Whether you're just starting your journey into the world of ethical hacking or you're looking to up your game and refine your existing skills, this video is going to be your one-stop shop. We're talking about the tools and techniques that can help you uncover vulnerabilities in Android apps and get you well on your way to earning those bounties. It's a wild world out there, and companies are constantly on the lookout for skilled security researchers to help them build more secure systems. So if you're ready to learn, let's jump right in. All right, let's kick things off with reverse engineering. Now this is where things get really interesting. Imagine being able to take apart an Android app piece by piece to understand exactly how it works. That's essentially what reverse engineering allows you to do. It's all about dissecting an app to uncover its core logic, its data flow, and potentially its vulnerabilities. Think of it like being a digital detective, carefully examining the evidence to understand how an app behaves and where its weaknesses might lie. Now, there are some powerful tools at your disposal for this. IDA Pro is like the industry standard. It's a disassembler and debugger that gives you a deep dive into an app's assembly code. Then you've got Jeb Decompiler, which tries to reconstruct more readable Java code from the app's bytecode. Androlib is another handy tool, specifically designed for decompiling and recompiling Android apps. But why is reverse engineering so crucial for bug bounty hunting? Well, it allows you to go beyond the surface. You're not just interacting with the app like a normal user, you're peeling back the layers, understanding its inner workings. And that's where you often find those hidden vulnerabilities that others might miss. It's not always easy though. Reverse engineering can be like trying to solve a complex puzzle, especially with obfuscated code designed to make analysis difficult. But hey, that's part of the challenge, right? And the rewards can be huge, both in terms of knowledge gained and bounties earned. So if you're serious about bug bounty hunting, mastering reverse engineering is a must. It's your key to unlocking the secrets hidden within Android apps. With reverse engineering under our belt, let's move on to dynamic analysis. If reverse engineering is about dissecting an app at rest, dynamic analysis is about observing it in action, like a scientist studying a living organism under a microscope. We're talking about running the app in a controlled environment, whether it's an emulator or a physical device, and monitoring its behavior. We want to see how it interacts with the system, how it handles data, and most importantly, how it reacts to unexpected inputs or conditions. And when it comes to dynamic analysis, you've got a whole arsenal of tools to play with. ADB, the Android Debug Bridge, is your command line interface to communicate with your device or emulator. It lets you install apps, access logs, and even execute shell commands directly on the device. Then there's Monkey, a mischievous little tool that lives up to its name. You unleash Monkey on your app, and it starts generating random events, touches, clicks, system events, basically trying to crash the app or make it behave unexpectedly. And if you want to take your dynamic analysis to the next level, there's Frida. This powerful tool allows you to inject your own JavaScript code into a running app, giving you incredible control and insight into its runtime behavior. You can hook into specific functions, modify data on the fly, and really get under the hood of the app. Dynamic analysis is all about catching those elusive bugs that might not be apparent from static code analysis alone. It's about understanding how the app behaves in the real world and identifying vulnerabilities that might be exploited by malicious actors. All right, now let's talk about fuzzing, because sometimes a little chaos can be a good thing, especially when it comes to finding security vulnerabilities. In a nutshell, fuzzing is like bombarding your app with a barrage of random or unexpected inputs, hoping to trigger a crash or an unexpected behavior that reveals a weakness. Think of it like stress testing your app, pushing it to its limits to see if it can handle the pressure. And trust me, when you're dealing with complex software, there's always a chance that some weird combination of inputs can lead to unexpected results. Now, you don't have to generate all that random data yourself. We've got some great tools for that. American Fuzzy Lop, or AFL, is a popular choice. It's known for its speed and efficiency in finding vulnerabilities. Then there's LibFuzzer, another powerful fuzzing engine that integrates well with other testing frameworks. The beauty of fuzzing is that it can uncover vulnerabilities that you might never have thought to look for manually. It's like having an army of testers trying every possible input combination 24-7. Of course, you need to be prepared to sift through a lot of data. 
But when you find that one critical bug that brings the whole system crashing down, you'll know it was worth it. So if you're serious about finding those hidden vulnerabilities, fuzzing is definitely a technique you want to add to your arsenal. It's chaotic, it's unpredictable, but it's also incredibly effective. Let's jump into the world of code review. While we've talked about some pretty high-tech methods for uncovering vulnerabilities, sometimes there's no substitute for the human eye. Code review is all about diving deep into the source code of an application, line by line, looking for those subtle flaws or oversights that automated tools might miss. It's a meticulous process, requiring patience, attention to detail, and a deep understanding of programming languages and security best practices. You're essentially playing the role of a detective, carefully scrutinizing every piece of code for any signs of weakness. Platforms like GitHub and GitLab have become essential for code review, allowing teams to collaborate, review changes, and track issues efficiently. But even with these tools, effective code review often comes down to good old-fashioned human intuition and experience. Now, you might be thinking, isn't this a bit tedious compared to automated tools? And yeah, it can be. But here's the thing. Automated tools are great at catching common vulnerabilities, but they can't think like a human attacker. They don't always understand the context, the logic flaws, or the subtle design issues that can lead to serious security risks. That's where code review shines. It allows you to apply your knowledge, your creativity, and your understanding of the application's purpose to find those vulnerabilities that others might miss. It's about connecting the dots, seeing the bigger picture, and using your human intelligence to outsmart potential attackers. Let's talk about network analysis, because in the interconnected world of mobile apps, understanding how an app communicates over the network is crucial for uncovering potential security holes. It's like eavesdropping on the conversations happening between the app and the outside world, looking for any whispers of sensitive information being exchanged without proper security. We're talking about capturing and analyzing the network traffic generated by an Android app as it interacts with servers, APIs, and other devices. And trust me, there's a treasure trove of information hidden within those packets of data. Now, when it comes to network analysis, Wireshark is your best friend. It's a powerful open source packet analyzer that lets you capture and inspect network traffic in incredible detail. You can filter by protocol, search for specific patterns, and even reconstruct entire conversations between the app and the server. Then you've got Burp Suite, another essential tool for web security testing. It acts as a proxy sitting between your device and the internet, allowing you to intercept, modify, and replay network requests. This gives you incredible control over the data being exchanged and allows you to test for a wide range of vulnerabilities, from injection flaws to authentication bypasses. Network analysis is like having X-ray vision into the communication channels of your app. It allows you to see what data is being transmitted, how it's being protected, and whether there are any weaknesses in the way the app communicates with the outside world. Let's dive into the world of cryptography analysis, because in an era where data breaches are all too common, understanding how an app protects sensitive information is paramount. We're talking about analyzing the cryptographic algorithms, protocols, and implementations used by an Android app to secure data. This isn't about breaking encryption in the traditional sense, but rather about identifying weaknesses or misconfigurations that could compromise the security of sensitive data. Think of it like checking the locks on your doors and windows. You're not trying to break in, but you want to make sure they're strong enough to deter any potential intruders. Now, when it comes to cryptography analysis, You've got tools like OpenSSL and Crypto++ at your disposal. These are powerful cryptographic libraries that provide a wide range of functions for encryption, decryption, hashing, and digital signatures. They can help you understand how the app is using these cryptographic primitives and whether there are any vulnerabilities in their implementation. Cryptography analysis is all about ensuring that the app is using strong encryption algorithms, that keys are managed securely, and that sensitive data is protected both in transit and at rest. Let's talk about some of the most common Android vulnerabilities that every bug bounty hunter should be aware of. It's like studying your opponent's playbook, understanding their go-to moves so you can anticipate their attacks. First up, we have the infamous Dirty Cow vulnerability. 
This nasty exploit allows attackers to gain root access to a device by exploiting a race condition in the way the Linux kernel handles copy-on-write memory. It's a classic example of how a seemingly small bug can have devastating consequences. Then there's Stage Fright, a vulnerability that sent shockwaves through the Android community a few years back. This exploit targeted the way Android handled multimedia messages, allowing attackers to remotely execute code on a device simply by sending a specially crafted MMS message. It highlighted the importance of securing all components of an app, even those that seem innocuous. And of course, we can't forget about Quadrooter, a set of vulnerabilities that affected Qualcomm chipsets, potentially giving attackers root access to millions of devices. This vulnerability highlighted the importance of keeping device drivers and firmware up to date, as they can often be the weakest link in the security chain. Knowing about these common vulnerabilities is crucial for bug bounty hunters, as it allows you to target your testing efforts effectively. Now it's time to talk about exploitation, because finding a vulnerability is only half the battle. To truly understand its impact and demonstrate its severity, you need to craft an exploit that proves you can actually leverage it to gain unauthorized access or compromise the system. This is where things get really interesting, as it requires a deep understanding of the vulnerability itself, the underlying system architecture, and the art of crafting malicious code that can bypass security measures and execute your commands. And when it comes to exploitation, tools like Metasploit and Core Impact are your go-to weapons. These frameworks provide a vast library of pre-built exploits, payloads, and tools that can help you quickly weaponize known vulnerabilities and test the security of your target systems. Exploitation is the art of turning a theoretical weakness into a practical attack. It's about understanding how to chain together multiple vulnerabilities, bypass security measures, and ultimately gain control of the target system. Let's talk about debugging. Because let's face it, no one writes perfect code. Bugs are an inevitable part of the software development process and knowing how to effectively track them down and squash them is essential for building secure and reliable applications. Debugging is like being a detective, carefully examining the clues and following the trail of execution to understand why an app is behaving the way it is. It requires patience, attention to detail, and a systematic approach to problem solving. Luckily, Android developers have access to powerful debugging tools that can make this process a lot easier. Android Studio, the official IDE for Android development, comes with a built-in debugger that allows you to step through your code line by line, set breakpoints, inspect variables, and even modify values on the fly. Eclipse, another popular IDE, also offers robust debugging capabilities. These tools provide invaluable insights into the inner workings of your app, allowing you to identify and fix bugs quickly and efficiently. Debugging is an essential skill for any developer. Whether you're building mobile apps, web applications, or desktop software, it's about understanding how your code interacts with the system, identifying potential issues early on, and ensuring that your software behaves as expected. Finally, let's wrap up by talking about security testing, because building secure apps is not a one-time event. It's an ongoing process that requires constant vigilance and a commitment to staying ahead of the curve. It's about integrating security into every stage of the software development lifecycle, from design to deployment and beyond. Security testing involves a wide range of techniques and tools, from automated vulnerability scanners to manual penetration testing. It's about identifying potential weaknesses in your app's defenses and taking steps to mitigate them before attackers can exploit them. OWASP, ZAP, and Burp Suite, which we discussed earlier, are also invaluable tools for security testing. These tools can help you identify common web application vulnerabilities, such as injection flaws, cross-site scripting, and broken authentication, and provide guidance on how to fix them. But security testing is more than just running automated scans. It's about understanding the unique security risks faced by your app, developing a comprehensive testing strategy, and continuously evaluating and improving your security posture. That's a wrap on today's video. I hope you found these Android hacking techniques useful for your bug bounty hunting journey. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility, so always use your knowledge for good and help make the digital world a safer place.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more tech content. Until next time, stay curious, stay safe, and happy hacking.